One we fought on land, the other fought in sky. One we stabbed his sigil, and the other in his eye. A test to test our vigil. We passed. We defeated the Colossi. In order to save the one whose life was a lie. In this episode, we go to see Farron a third time. <sighs> okay. That, that is my intro. So, hi, I'm Paladin. I didn't say that in my little poem there, but I'm Paladin, and welcome back to Pal's Pal Place. I, I didn't mean to, stu to um, word stumble like that, but I did, and I'm sorry. Th it, today is not Pal's Play. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get, get your hopes up there. Now, um, in this episode, like I said in my little poem, we are going to go to the Farron region. So, let's go. All right. In Skyloft, I upgraded our quiver. I also upgraded something that will come in handy next episode. Also, this Gwei is carrying a silver rupee, so uh, I'm a fan of that. Let's let's go ahead and uh, sidetrack ourselves real quick, just just to grab this silver rupee, cause it's good if we do grab. Come on, come on, grab. No, come on, come on, recharge, recharge. Where did he go? There it is, there it is, okay. Wait, what? Okay. It disappeared. It disappeared. What is it doing? The rupee's disappearing. He is not carrying a rupee right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna speed up until I catch this guy. Come on. Get. Yes! Okay, apparently somehow he magically lost the rupee. Weird. I don't get it. But yeah, I upgraded our quiver, which I'm not sure if I showed it on screen already or what. But anyway, we'll drop in and we want to see Faron, but apparently Fia has something to tell us. Or something. I keep saying thin and yeah. A report, Master. An unusual phenomenon is taking place in Faron Woods, making it imp impossible to descend directly into them at the moment. Okay, so... Only available places we have are the sealed grounds and the sealed grounds. So, I guess we need to go into the sealed grounds. If that's our only option, we'll have to uh, hike over to Lake Floria. Here we are. Link! Bad news. That beast look li looks like it's about to break free again. Gotta get into position. Hang tight. So, the Imprisoned is breaking free a third time. Uh, this will hinder our, our progress on that hike that I was telling you about. Whoa. Feels like that seal is about to give way any second. Uh, but no need to panic. You know what the Grusinator can do, am I right? As long as I'm at the controls of this bombshell beauty, I don't even know the meaning of the word defeat. Flinging bombs on this monster's face, defending the land, it's my purpose, I think. It's why I'm here. Anyway, Link, I've got work to do. Try not to get in the way of my shots, okay? So, um, funny story. This is my second recording of this episode, and last episode I hit this bomb... And I think it blew up, and I am under the belief that it actually slowed Groose from being ready to take a shot. So I'm not going to destroy it this time, and let's see the difference. Because it took Groose a while to um, get back to me on the bo whole bomb thing. Let's see if when we start right now, he'll be ready. And let's actually... Oh. And I actually prepared for this episode. I have a stamina potion. Also, you probably saw my other thing that I said we were going to be using this next episode. I'll explain it then. So let's see what new tricks Demise, or the Imprisoned, as we call it, has. I'm not spoiling the name. We already know this is Demise. 
Okay, you ugly mug. What new tricks do you have this time? Well, look who's finally back. Good thing, too, because I was getting tired of waiting to put a hurting on this on his ugly mug. Link, let's do this. Our game plan is the same as last time. You know what to do. Yeah, so it actually does change if you blow up the bomb. Um, last time, I blew up the bomb with my sword, and it really spoiled it for me. So ne don't blow up the bomb, folks, in your runs of this game, because it will spoil things. Now, you want to stay in front of him, at all times, just stay in front of it and drop bombs in front. You do not want your shield to take a beating because he'll just keep hitting you until it, until your shield's gone, pretty much. Oh boy, bad situation. Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. Uh, run behind him. His tail will hit you. Ow, as you just saw. I'm going to call on the magic of Groose. To, um, hit this guy. Hit his hand. Come on, hit his hand, hit his hand. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, I missed his hand. Well, I'm still a little bit behind him. Oh, no, I'm not. Man, I need, just need to take out his right foot. That one's the hardest to get to. No. Oh, no. Well, folks, it's a repeat, repeat of last episode. Last episode, um, my shield took a big beating from this guy, and I actually almost lost the fight. So, I don't know. This could happen again. He He's higher up than he was last time before I got the hit. So, this could go awry very quickly. Okay, Groose, come on, come on, buddy. I need you, man. I need you. Hit his hand, hit his hand, hit his hand. It. I didn't, I didn't hit the... The things on his hand. This is very bad. Let's run on top of him. Hopefully, please, 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 please. On top. And good. Okay, that's good. That is a good start. Because his next phase, he's going to mix it up. Now, if he kept this first phase throughout the throughout all three of his um, his attempts, he would definitely win. But this is the reason why I thought that I said that the second fight is harder than this one. Whoa! Since when did it learn how to fly? It's headed straight for the temple, but there's no way I'm letting it get there. Big Ugly's going down burning. Burning. Um, let's get to the center first. Okay. Groose. Look to the skies and pull the trigger. Oh man, the Grusinator is just really nice. It makes everything a lot easier. We could not defeat him. The this battle, that much is certain. Is that is that it? Man, I thought it it was going to put up more of a fight. Somebody should really thank the genius who made this machine. Okay, Link, time for you to show to go show Big Ugly who's boss. So now that we're all on the ground already, let's use our wonderful stamina potion to run over there. And hit him again with a Skyward Strike. That does not do any more damage, so I don't advise you doing it. But hey, I'm a, I'm a showman. In fact, really, I, I am because I'm showing you. But yeah, I, I'm showing you guys how to do it, and I'm not doing a good job. Now, in this third f third phase, Groose will discover this. Let Groose take it over. Oh, no! Not good. The road crumbled, and I can't get to get to the stash of my the rest of my bomb stash. What do I do? Link, come up to the temple and make your way over here. Hustle up. Okay, it makes it really it makes it much easier if you place beacons to where you need to go. Beacon, and because then you can tell where the um where the geysers are that you need to run on to. Okay, let's go up this one, and we'll be at the top. We've beat him here, and if we grab some hearts along the way, we can go see what Groose has in store for us. And I could, I'd could, i catch that beetle, but that'd break the tension. Groose, what's up? What's your plan? 
Link, we're in trouble. I can't get to my stash of bombs. All right, Link, we've got no choice. You've got to head up onto that, uh, onto that ugly thing's head. Quick now. So we have to get inside the Grusinator and be used as its ammunition. Nice, you're locked and loaded. We'll aim it to send you straight for the spike on his head. Also, notice there's a slight graphical glitch because the geyser is blowing up through the imprisoned. Now watch when I skip this. It will no, no longer be doing that. Okay, aim carefully. Come on. Yes, we landed perfectly. Hit it. And... Good night. <laughs> that went much smoother than the first take of this episode. So, like I was saying, the second and third fights are, I mean, second and third phases are almost a little bit scripted. Um, they aren't scripted, but they are a tiny, tiny bit, just a little bit. There's just some slight, um, there's just some slight scription, I guess you could say, going on that makes it, that makes them a little bit easier. Now... If he had kept up his third phase, like he did, um, I mean, if he had kept up his first phase during all three phases of this fight, we would have lost. Definitely would have lost. Even with the, gru with the Grusinator, we would not have stood a chance. So, it's kind of ironic that the time he uses new tricks or the time is the time that we have an easier time defeating him. So, with that note, on that note, Let's go ahead and defeat him. Now, Link, strike the ceiling spike with the Skyward Strike and restore the seal. Quickly! And I'm already at the bottom. Now, I've waited, well, 10 seconds, but I've waited and I don't think he actually does come out. So, we might as well just seal him back in. And we have a very complicated symbol this time that it kind of looks like a jumbled up Triforce. Come on. And last one. Phew, I gotta say, Link, I thought we were goners this time. Sorta of glad I was wrong about that. I'm gonna run ahead to the temple. You should get back there, too. Very well. Let's go. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I'm gonna speed this up, because I'm gonna make use of our stamina potion, and I'm gonna run up here the long- I'm going to run up here the long way with our wonderful stamina. I'm gonna speed this up. Actually, you know, I'll, I think I'll sing while it's being sped up. Da 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 Run it out of breath. And we'll run up this little ledge thing he and we'll see the bombs that we never used. Stop and we'll restock one and run. Because we're trying to be the sun. <laughs> I'm running up the hill, enjoying my stamina potion. And I'm enjoying the motion that is running. And I'm also trying to think of another thing that rhymes with running. 
I can't think of one which is really sad. But we're getting some use out of the stamina potion, and I'll climb- Wait, wait. I'll climb up there. I'll grab my claw shots. And I'll thing up here to get... The heart! Dun- And now it's a new song! Dun 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 Now a new song! Da 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 and now a new song. Um Da 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 Okay. I'm sorry for that, but I also put on screen when it happened a s an option to skip, so I I don't really think I should apologize. Also, that ledge right there. There are a bunch of these ledges, which I never use. I mean, it's really cool that this much thought has went into uh, the the boss battle, but I never really use these ledges. I suppose, actually, that ledge might be perfect for jumping on his head, but I usually he's usually not up this far by the time I defeat him, so... Anyway, let's go inside and s see, what, see what Pear has to say. Man, I've been making too many references this episode, and I think I'm gonna stop. I think I'm gonna stop. The beast has been sealed into its prison a third time. Link, Groose, you have both done well. But I fear we can't dwell on your success. The strength of the seal seems to wane with each escape. We are almost out of time. Link. Are you close to discovering the Triforce? Yeah, closer than we've ever been. I see. You must see seek out the three dragons and complete the Song of the Hero to find the Triforce. It is right your search has led you here. The Faron Woods are close by. Unfortunately, there has been an, an unusual turn of events in the woods. Um, just a second, you might hear... My German Shepherd barking, and, um, just, just wait, I'm gonna cut back, just a second, sorry, I'm really sorry, but it's interrupting me and the recording, just a second. Ah, <laughs> uh, night. Okay, just, I'll, I'll tell you what he was barking at in a second. Unfortunately, there has been an unusual turn of events in the woods. I am unsure of what happened, but a short while ago, I noticed the path to the woods was completely flooded. To protect the land here, I closed the gate leading to the woods and drove back the water with a simple seal. The seal will hold... Uh, will only hold as long as the gate remains closed, meaning you will not be able to open it without flooding these lands. Given the situation, I am at a loss as to how you can enter the woods. Heh, <laughs> is that all? Consider the problem solved. See, that last battle with Big Ugly got me thinking about other ways to use the Grusinator. Just climb up onto that bad boy and I'll give you a lift over to the woods, alright? I'll run ahead and get her prepped for you. Prepped for you. Come see me when you're ready to take a little flight. Oh my. The boy has made himself very useful, but he does have a tendency to cause trouble for those he helps. Safe journey. I wish you a soft landing, Link. Okay, let me sit down over here. Okay, let me tell you real quick what Knight was barking at. Okay. In one of the rooms of my house, we have a... Grasshopper, no. We have a stuffed 
coyote head. Like, you know, an actual taxidermed coyote head, which sounds a little bit gross, but he's actually pretty beautiful. And this coyote head has been there for going on, I think, five to six years, and we've had it longer than that. So it's been around all of Knight's life. Now, he's barked at it one, once or twice when he was a puppy, and after that, he kind of ignored it. Now, just today, randomly, me, I'm talking to my mother, and randomly, he just starts barking his head off, and we go to see what he's barking at, and he's barking at the coyote head again. After maybe four years? Five? So, he's been, whenever he sees it, he's been barking at it today. Which, I don't understand why, but he's been barking at it whenever he was allowed into the room where it is. So, just now, he was barking at it, so I just fixed it, so you won't be hearing the barking, hopefully, for the rest of the recording. But it, it's pretty funny how he's, he's not really that angry, but he, I don't know, he, he... It, he acts as if it's a bunny that he's seeing, that he really wants to chase. And, I don't know, it just it's just funny. He's a kooky dog. Also, it's sad, because that's the last we're going to use of that bomb. Okay, let's talk to Groose. And, actually, I'll, I'll say that in a second. Want to head to Farron Woods, do you? No sweat, just hop onto the Groosinator and I'll fling you over. Okay, what I was going to say is, while this is Saturday, I, I do know the date, I am not forgetting again, I know this is Saturday, but I also know that like the past two or three episodes have been 30 to 40 minutes long, and like th I think three episodes ago was 50 minutes long. Now, I do know that that cannot be helped, because that was the story. The reason for those long episodes was because of the story. And because of the stuff that was were that was in the episodes was either cut scenes or something where I felt that I should be showing more content because you guys didn't really get much of an episode. So they've been long. So because of this, I'm compensating this Saturday and I'm going to have a short episode, which it's it's around 22, 23 minutes long. So I'm actually going to end it here. And when we launch that, that will launch us straight into the next episode. So, thank you so much for not watching. Next episode, we'll go into Faron Woods, which are apparently flooded, and we'll just see we'll see just how flooded they are. Again, thank you for watching. I've got I over the past couple of days, I've gotten a chance to talk with some of the viewers, and it's been a very good experience. So, with that all said, let's not keep Groose waiting, and let's accept his offer to. Help us out. Okay. Alright. Hop in and I'll take care of the flinging. You just worry about the landing. With my machine, the woods are just a fling away. <laughs>